Hey guys, Legal Lockpicker here. Uh, today I want to go over the second part of my warded uh, lock series and uh, we're going to jump right in. Uh, if you remember last time, I went over how warded locks work, how they don't work, and how to bypass them. Uh, the first lock that we did uh, last time was the smart value lock. I believe the cost of this was less than four dollars or, or, or two pounds fifty something like that um, so when you want to open a warded lock and you have the key for it it's very simple you push the lo the key in the lock you turn to the right side and it opens right the warded locks work kind of like um yeah, kind of like uh, with gates not kind of that's what they <laughs> that's what they are open like so if the key doesn't match the right gates inside of the lock, then it's not going to turn. It's just going to hit a wall. So it's important that you have the right key to do that. Um, and it's also important uh, if for a lock picking enthusiast like myself and like most of you, that we have these skeleton keys. But not everybody, or excuse me, we have these tryout keys, and not everybody has these. So what they do is. Um, they have the skeleton keys so when you cut the middle part of these uh, keys that you're issued here in any of the keys you see here uh, you're left with the last part here so you bypass all of the wards or gates inside the lock leaving you with just a clean open uh, and that's what we're gonna go over today we're gonna we're gonna see if this works the trial keys work on the rest of the locks here. Uh, the locks we have left are the master lock, ace, and a Brinks lock. We also have one more thing here. Um, when I was doing the warded lock series, I wanted to make sure I gave everybody um, the most information and data out there. And I want to show you that this there's no trickery that even using a brand new lock out of the box uh, we should have no problem using the trial keys or uh, a basic pick to open it. Okay, so we'll get into that in a minute. So, um, we'll start off with the master lock, and we have the trial keys here. So, it's always good practice, although not necessary, is to pick the largest of the trial keys you see here, and that happens to be this one, and that's the one we're going to start with. Okay, so we're going to stick it into the lock and a lot of these warded locks they have these protrusions on the top of the lock here and what you do is you stick that in there and you can kind of feel that you're in the uh, in the back by that protrusion part and it takes a second to you know wiggle around and figure out where you're at but eventually you just turn it and it'll open okay so that was pretty simple and the reason why it is simple is because all of the gates and stuff have been taken off um, the locks or the trial keys here, so there's no chance of even hitting um, the wrong gate. So we've gotten past the uh, master lock three scale here. Uh, we're going to do the same thing with the ace lock if we can fit this in here. Um, we're going to stick it all the way back to that protrusion in the back. And we're going to turn and that's going to be it so even though they have these gates here most of the tryout keys that you have uh, will fit in with no problem at all uh, this particular set of tryout keys is from a southord mpxs 62 set it was a large set and it turns out this is the golden goose I mean, this, these are incredible for warded locks. Unfortunately, you don't see them in high security places, and rightfully so. Um, this is the Brinks. Um, it's at the, it's locked here in place. The falls are locked, it's not going anywhere. So let's try the largest one again. Um, okay, that seems to work. So I pushed it in, I pushed it back to the protrusion area, and I'm just gonna well I'm just gonna try to turn it oh, and there she blows so you can see that that works like a charm so you don't you don't exit you don't need the skeleton keys for it to work but I would suggest buying a set of trial keys 
uh, if you can afford them because you can see how effective they are. Um, this one here, um, if you remember from the last video, looks like uh, this one here, and this works on these as well, especially for the um, uh, locks that don't have the uh, double sides here. So you can see that that works as well. I got this from a, uh, I think it was a 14, 12, 13, 14 piece dimple pick set I got from um, from Banggood. And I'll leave the link in the description below, but I took the black handles off the bottom and I used this and just put it in there and turn and it works out great. So you still have to get used to it, but it works nonetheless. So let's get this uh, this master lock one in here open real quick and let's give this uh, give it the old college try all right okay so I don't think we're gonna need the I don't think we're gonna need the key okay all right well let's just uh do the same thing we did before. We'll go to the largest one and we'll, we'll try from there. If we can't get that in there, we'll go for the next one. Um, let's see, we're gonna get it, push it back. Voila. So that's it. I mean, it was really that simple. So we've opened all these locks, no problem. Skeleton keys a plus. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you want to see some of my upcoming videos or you want to check out videos I've already done, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and share these so other people can enjoy them. Have a great day, guys.